Spider-Man. So all of you want to know what's going on with the Spider-Verse, but it's not over yet. But this did give me an idea. You see, the Spider-Verse is all about all of the Spider-Men of the multiverse coming together for a common enemy and to meet finally. Now, Spider-Man is a pop culture icon, and due to this, we have a lot of Spider-Men. And since the Spider-Verse is about every universe possible colliding, this means that every version of Spider-Man ever is on the table. And they even invented some new ones just for this. So I went slightly insane and I looked up every single Spider-Man that I could find, and I put them together in a shotgun list. But we'll go more in depth into your favorites and mine thanks to Spider-Verse once it ends. Now from A to Z, we're gonna go over the ones that I located, because the Spider-Verse event is shown that it can involve any Spider-Man, even the ones from the newspaper strips and commercials to even Spider-Ham. Age of Apocalypse Spider-Man is executed by the Apocalypse regime because he was an ally of the rebel Gwen Stacy. Amlegan Comics is a merged DC Marvel Universe, and Spider-Man has been merged with Superboy to create Spider-Boy. He's basically Superboy using the tactile telekinesis to simulate spider powers instead of Superman's powers. Avatar's Covenant of the Shield is an alternate world where sword and sorcery reign supreme against science. Here, he is known as the Web Slinger, and he helps Captain Avalon. And the Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe, Spider-Man is killed by Deadpool when he's shot in the head. On Earth X, Peter Parker isn't Spider-Man, he is in fact a regular police officer. In the Exiles series, there are several versions of Spider-Man shown. The Spider is a version of Spider-Man that merged with the Carnage symbiote and is now a killer. He came from Earth-15 and is now in the Weapon X program. Mary Jane is the Spider-Woman who is a part of the resistance against the techno-organic virus and the heroes that have been infected by the techno-organic virus. She's also openly a lesbian and I don't know why that was such a large note that they needed to mention it. The Spider-Man is a member of the Fantastic Five of his own universe. A version of Spider-Man 2099 joins them, and there's also a mutant version of Peter Parker, who mutated to get spider powers, and he joined Force X. There's also a version of Peter Parker that was a child abused by Uncle Ben, and he was locked in the cellar of his house where he befriended a giant spider-like creature. And lastly in this series, we are also introduced to a demon Spider-Man. In the House of M, the world where Scarlet Witch put the mutants in control and the humans were being ruled by them, Peter Parker pretended that he was a mutant and not a science experiment gone wrong. Because he is known as a superhero mutant, he becomes rich and famous thanks to the news loving his image. But eventually, J. Jonah Jameson reveals that Spider-Man is not a mutant, but a spider bit him and the experiment went wrong and his entire life crumbled because of it. In the Kill Raven universe, Spider-Man is a time traveler who is fighting against the second invasion of aliens from the Martians in H.D. Wells' The War of the Worlds. In Spider-Man the Manga, it's just a Japanese setting retelling of the original Spider-Man story. But then we also have the Marvel Manga-verse, where he's a ninja and a member of the Spider-Clan, where he takes revenge against an evil Ronin known as Venom for killing his sensei, Uncle Ben. In this universe, we also get a Spider-Woman that is Mary Jane Watson. In the Marvel Comics 2 line, we have Peter Parker as a supporting character for Spider-Girl. Now in this universe, Peter Parker had a daughter named Mayday Parker, and after years of being Spider-Man, he eventually lost his leg. He overcomes his handicap so that he can go work in the science department of a police station, and his daughter discovers that she actually has spider powers, so she ends up taking up the mantle of Spider-Girl. Fun fact, this series ran for over 100 issues, and in this same universe, they have their own Spider-Man. He is the son of Jessica Drew, the Spider-Woman of 616, and he inherited her powers. Now, from the video game that came out on the PS2, we have the Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects universe, where Spider-Man was abducted and experimented on. He became infected by the invading aliens, and he turned into a villain, but the Imperfects were able to fix the corruption. In the universe where Punisher kills the Marvel Universe, there was a very zombie-like virus released into the world, and Spider-Man became Patient Zero. In the actual Marvel Zombies universe, Spider-Man is constantly racked with guilt for eating Aunt May and Mary Jane but he eventually eats Galactus, gains super galactic powers, and he travels the galaxy eating planets. He eventually masters his hunger, and he ends up teaming up with the remaining humans in the Resistance, where he eventually creates a weapon that will kill every zombie in the universe, and he uses it, sacrificing himself to save everybody. In the Mutant X series, we have the original six-armed Spider-Man going by the name Man-Spider. The basic idea for this is that he was never able to cure himself of having six arms. 
There's also a newspaper strip version of Spider-Man, where he continued his career as a struggling photographer, and he dealt with abuse from J. Jonah Jameson. This is basically just a Sunday comic strip version of the actual Spider-Man story, but a lot of other superheroes crossed over, such as a Sunday news strip version of Wolverine. While Deadpool was traveling through the multiverse, he eventually came across a version of Spider-Man that was known as Pestilence, and he was one of the horsemen of Apocalypse. In the series Powerless, Marvel wanted to tell the tale of what our heroes would do in a world where they didn't have superpowers. Now in this world, Spider-Man is a kid on the internet using the handle Spider-Man, and while he was still bit by the spider, he wasn't given powers. His hand just became atrophic. Now in the series Ruins, which presented a world where all of the stuff that turned our superheroes into superheroes happened, but they still didn't get superpowers, this version of Spider-Man got bit by the spider and he died of a painful rash, and passed the rash on to the main person explaining the story of Ruined. It is a world dubbed the Spectacular Spider-Man Adventures, where it continued the adventures of our 1990s cartoon Spider-Man. Spider-Man 1602 stars a Spider-Man in the year 1602 without any powers. He works as an apprentice to the royal spy master Sir Nicholas Fury. Spider-Man 2099 is a geneticist named Miguel O'Hara who gained his powers through gene splicing. He fought in the year 2099 originally, but due to a time-traveling adventure he's ended up in the present day and is now involved in the Spider-Verse event. Spider-Man 2211 was introduced in a crossover event with Spider-Man of 2099. And then we have Spider-Man Chapter 1, which is a reimagining of the original origin of Spider-Man. For a while, this was considered actual canon, but then it spun off into its own universe. Spider-Man India is a reimagining of Spider-Man as an Indian superhero. He has a name that I'm not even going to try to pronounce, and he's already been shown in the Spider-Verse event. Then we have a storyline called Spider-Man Loves Mary Jane, and this is a reimagining of Spider-Man and Mary Jane as a teen drama. Kind of surprised the CW hasn't picked this one up yet. Spider-Man Noir is a version of Spider-Man who lives in the 1930s during the Depression. This Spider-Man can't stick to walls, but he can do a lot of things that the other Spider-Man can do. Spider-Man Reign is about an older Spider-Man who has to fight against Venom trying to take over the city with a mass army of symbiotes. The Spider-Man of the Spider-Man Unlimited series goes to another Earth known as Counter-Earth, where he makes a new costume using nanotechnology and he fights against the High Evolutionary and a bunch of half-animal human thingies. Venom and Carnage also joined in on this adventure as villains, and eventually everyone got to go back to the main universe. The Ultimate Universe, we have Miles Morales as the new Spider-Man, and we have Jessica Drew, who's a female clone of Spider-Man. In this world, we did have Peter Parker, but he was eventually killed by the Ultimate Green Goblin. Now, the Spider-Verse event introduced a whole bunch of new Spider-Men to this whole entire event, because the list I've already gone through wasn't large enough, if you ask me. Billy Braddock is the Spider-Man UK who works with the Captain Britain Corps. Aaron Aikman is a scientist who uses the gadget-laden suit of high-tech armor. Patton Parnell is a bloodthirsty, twisted version of Spider-Man. Penny Parker is a middle school student who pilots a giant machine called Spider, and it is controlled by a radioactive spider. The Spider-Woman Gwen Stacy addition to this universe is where she got bit instead of Peter Parker, and he ended up changing into the lizard, and she had to kill him. She then uses this event to inspire herself to help others. She's also in a punk band, and she's apparently getting her own comic book series soon. Spider-Moon Man is from a world where people live on the moon. Hostess Twinkies Cakes Advertisement Spider-Man is from a reality where he can always win if he uses Hostess Twinkie Cakes. Old Man Spider-Man is known as Ezekiel Sims, and he isn't actually the Spider-Man of his universe, but he took the mantle when Morlun killed his reality Spider-Man. Cyborg Spider-Man is from the Earth 2818, he died early on in the story. Steampunk Lady Spider is from a reality where her father kept a bunch of caged animals, and she was bitten by a spider, granting her powers. She then broke out of being held back by society and became the Lady Spider. Man Spider is a version that went into a coma from his bite, and he eventually changed into a hulking spider monster. Luckily, two of the other Spider-Men were there looking for him, and they cured him so he could go back to being Peter Parker with his aunt and uncle. Spider-Girl appears to be around age 9, and she uses a tutu with her outfit. She looks like she's a little more cartoony than the rest. Spider-Ham has also arrived and is from a world where everyone is an animal creature, and he is named Peter Porker. We also have an assassin Spider-Man, who apparently is willing to kill and works as an assassin for the shield of his reality. We then have Superior Spider-Man, the version of Doc Ock that was in Peter Parker's brain, and lastly we have Cindy Moon, going by the name Silk, who is bitten by the same spider as Peter Parker, and she's a central important part of the Spider-Verse storyline. Also, don't forget, we also have Tobey Maguire Universe, Andrew Garfield Universe, the Ultimate Spider-Man TV Universe, and even that Japanese television show universe. Now, I know that there are tons and tons of other Spider-Verses out there, but these are all the ones that I could find and research and remember from reading the Spider-Verse event myself. While all of these can possibly join the event, some of them are probably never going to show up again. But we have no idea, 
you never know what's going to happen with how crazy this event is going. But I felt that a good starting place for this event was to make you aware of all of the possibilities that could show up. There are so many. So now that you know about all of the different kinds of Spider-Man, what's your favorite? And if you learned something new in this video, please give it a like and give the channel a subscription. I really do appreciate that. And I'll see you guys next time right here at Comic Story. Six dollar burger. Put one in your mouth before. Look up on the building. It's Spider Woman.